Dini's Den. It's your girl Dini, and I am here with uh, Shara. Like, what's the bare minimum a guy can present himself to you as? Yes. So we're you're basically asking physical requirements if it's the initial. Okay. Approach. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about that actually. Physical requirements. Uh, what was another? Mm -hmm. We talked about that. It was a whole song. Okay, so in order to keep my attention, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> in order to keep my attention, actually working out will be one of them. Now, okay. Um, I recently... Physique? Yeah, not really physique, though, because, you know, you can be any physique. You just have to have the desire to work out. I'm not going to not talk to you just because you're not my ideal body type. But at the same time, you have to be willing to take that health journey because if not... We ain't gonna have too much to talk about. You know, I can't be over here trying to make sure I'm right. Why you over here smoking ribs every Sunday? Mm. It's not gonna work for me. Mm. Here, um, you have to be ambitious. Okay. Um, and you have to be clear and set on your goals. Um, I feel like at the point in time in my life, I don't want to help you figure it out. I want you yes. already know what you're doing, and I will aid you in the process. But I am not here to draw you the map. Do not call me Dora. A lot of other things I'm really lenient with, but. That is that, that's definitely the bare minimum. So I think my bare minimum was to be alive. Wow. Breathing. That's intense. It is. Because it was never anything like... That's intense, man. I know. And that's why this was something I was like, what in the world? Because you, I don't think you are what you attract. I know that's a very popular statement, but... <clears throat> I don't attract my mutual mindset person. I can't say that. Oh, why do you feel that way though? Because I've never met somebody who thinks like that. So now my bare minimum, you have to be a conversationalist. You have to That's have- That's a good one. Is that a word? I don't know, but I know what it meant. Okay. I felt you it. gotta have something to talk I'm about. A, I'm a three text minimum type of person. What does that mean? I will text three different times at the same time. Yeah, you people annoy me. But I'm saying, I'm keeping a conversation going. So, you don't like the deadness? No, I don't. Like, you, you're the type, and I'm going to put you out there, because it's always the paragraph types, right? These paragraph types, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell many people to sex like that, and I was like, yeah. But <laughs> you... I have a lot to say. And clearly, like clearly. But then you have people like me that really, in all hindsight, I'd be like, okay. Not like initially. Like, when you meet somebody, you don't want to just one word them. And I also know that's my problem. I had Well, yeah, I feel like the minimum for me would definitely be communication and attention. And I need you to be attentive to me so I can be attentive to you. If you're not a person who is like looking for attention, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not an attention giver. Okay, but you're an attention seeker. If So to talk to me, you got to show interest. Like right. some people are very casual. And so I'm casual, but I, I, I show interest because I respond. Yeah, I, I guess we just, because I am the one with two words Texas. <laughs> so it's like, I can't. I don't know. And then sometimes you really don't be knowing what to say. Like that whole game to know each other is awkward. And I really feel like I'd rather go out and actually be able to talk to you and sit with you and chill with you than try to get to know you via text because Lord. I hate being on the phone. I never said it like that. But I'm saying like the counteract it because I don't be seeing people like that because I'm I'm a skeptical as hell. I ask that to segue into do you think you have settled for your bare minimum for where you are. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> for real though, like, uh, I will say this is my first actual real relationship where mm -hmm. everyone is on the same page. Like, okay. you may be in a relationship, but I wasn't in a relationship. Mm -hmm. This one, we're both in it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's together. But I would be like, coming from knowing that and, mm -hmm. you know, literally just having people around when I need occupying my time, um, there mm -hmm. is no way what I currently have. That's a thing. That's my thing. <laughs> That's real. So, in my revelation of saying, am I selling? Did I settle for the minimum? Or what was my bare minimum in identifying that and then asking myself, well, are you settling for it? Is that why you're in the 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 single life should i say with identifying your my lowest should i say i realized i 
am a settler because I don't I don't present myself as someone who requires much. Do you feel like you present yourself as someone who requires much? No, I feel like I am very low key, low maintenance. Yes. But it's also something that came in conversation with you. Like reading like poems or something? No, because I should. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> interesting scenario please pull me from my segue it's too far um there was a conversation being held between a group of people mm -hmm. let's say uh it was just females and males mm -hmm. so someone got upset and started like going off basically and calling everybody out their names and just the, all this day to the male side of the room. Okay. So hmm. when it came to the females, it was like, but I don't have a problem with you. And we were just like, we know we ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> but then fast forward to the conversation, I was like, why did that person feel that was so, um, that they needed to say that? Like you weren't talking to us this entire time. So no, you weren't talking to us. <laughs> you never made eye contact. Your body language wasn't gestured towards my direction. Like none of that had ever happened. So I'm just like, wow, you went out your way to clarify something that needed to say was already clear as that. So we asked this question and I was like, nobody else peed, but I got a question. Um, <laughs> just while we're talking, <laughs> why, did, why did they say that was needed to be said? Mm -hmm. And the answer was because y'all look like y'all are victims. <laughs> honestly said, like, it's how you present yourself. Like, I guess she must have caught your face when she said something sly <laughs> and you presented yourself. I mean, I don't say that much about my face. Anyway, you can only imagine <laughs> what, you know, their perspective in that situation. Okay. And I was like, I get that. And then it kind of rolled back into the whole, the attraction of people thing and how you can perceive yourself or your, not even just clothing wise, but stature wise. Mm -hmm. So you can create this, and you, know, you can create your, your stature alone. Mm -hmm. Kind of sets the tone of how people treat you. And I was like, that's interesting because at the end of the day, we talked about my self-consciousness, even mm -hmm. with the pictures and stuff. And it was more so just like, I mean, I hear you, but yeah. You, like what you feel about you you're right you. pretty much and it's like and all day no one can tell me lesser of myself like please <laughs> do you see the face hello <laughs> <laughs> it's Shavin's fault there we go I'm going to insert a picture of her right here <laughs> it's her fault okay <laughs> So that's that's like a thing, and so a lot of people recently have told me I come off bougie. I don't see a problem. I don't see bougie though. Right. I don't I don't feel as though I carry myself with an air. Like I don't look down on others. I don't. I'm not saying that you look down on others, <laughs> but I personally don't feel as though I carry myself at, with like such a in my mind. I consider it as like a sedity type of person. Like I don't. But that's a, that, that's a symptom of bougie. But I, I that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like I do. You I don't, don't feel your sedity. I don't do upkeep. Like I do my hair, but if the people really knew how I did oh, my hair. Let's define upkeep because I kind of think like that's what you're just, upkeep for me. It's, it's not, not just, upkeep for you. Define upkeep. Like present. I guess being presentable. Oh, okay. So you don't feel like you're presentable. Nine times out of ten. They need. I'm like. Scouts honor. Scouts. They need. We're not talking honor. about. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> look at me. I took my glasses off. I can't see. Okay. One. Yes, you do your hair, and your hairstyles changes consistently. Because. There's no because. We're just speaking facts. <laughs> Let's let them roll. But if the people seen how I did my hair. Okay, who cares how it gets done? That's the same thing you just said about me. How it got done. I say I did my hair the day of. You know I bought my twelve ninety nine dress. But you, are, I never called you bougie though, and I don't. You don't have a bouginess about you, like. But the presentation itself. It's presentable. But when others look at that presentation, the people right who now, see me every day were like, "Yeah, you are bougie," and I was like, "For what? We wear a uniform to work." Okay, I don't wear nothing name brand, no type of name brand, pants, shoes. It ain't what I don't even know what a brand would be for like a unicorn, but like 
it's Amazon down and Target up. Like, <laughs> like, I don't, and if I don't get my eyebrows arched. I don't wear. You lashes. don't have to get your. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like she is. I don't. She I lying. don't go get my lashes Pause. done. Just because you don't physically get your lashes done does not mean you don't do your lashes. I don't. I'm gonna need you to just remove that from them. Just because someone else isn't doing your lashes. But doesn't I feel mean, like that's an upkeep. It's not though, Dini. The it upkeep. Is. Okay. Pause. The I upkeep like, is this. And this is a picture that we're going to insert of Dini off of her Instagram. The upkeep is this. This is another picture we inserted off of Dini's Instagram. Okay. What you are considering upkeep is completely different from what it is. You're talking about your personal upkeep, your day to day. We're talking yeah. about who you actually present yourself to be. We were just talking about pre uh, presentation. But that's why I said people I'm with every day. But mm -hmm. either way, they see you at work and they see y'all. They go like it's the girls who fall asleep. Like on Friday. But how often do they do that though? Like Whatever. <laughs> what you do know is you, we have always had a night or two where we didn't want to mess up our hair or we couldn't mess up our makeup. You're not going to sit here and act like you didn't. You never tried to preserve your hair or something. I wear wigs, so I snatch them off. Exactly. That's a preservation. But I'm saying, like, some people really just have it in their heads where they have to. It's like they sleep a certain way so they don't mess their hair up. I'm not saying that's bougie behavior because that is actually dedicated behavior. No, what I'm saying is that's their every day. It's not a just because I don't want to mess up my hair today or I just got it done. Excuse me. It's a like. <laughs> like, that's bougie. I just feel like, like, they don't, like, it's, like, you don't see them with a broken nail because, oh, no, ma'am, no, sir. I, and it's not, like, bad bougie. It's just, like, you have an upkeep. Me, if I break a nail off, that's a sign that the rest are coming off. And I'm going to try to figure out how to pop them off. If not, it's going to be a broken nail. Like, I don't feel as though I have to keep that. Okay, that's one thing, though. And stop talking about me. That is one thing. <laughs> but no, I just feel like certain people, like, I don't, I don't see. Like, for me, maybe because I'm such a relaxed person and I'm chill and kept too. I don't feel as though I present myself like that. Like some people were just like, well, you have this thing about you where, you know, people can't just talk to you any type of way. And I was like, well, it's because I don't talk to them any type of way. I feel like they're missing bougie with self-respect. But which is often, I'm telling you, like that's why I'm asking you your definition. Cause it often goes hand in hand. I can't even tell you what came about the nail thing. But I can, somebody called me perky. Really? Exactly. And I was like, mm, no. I mean. What is Energetic, maybe. Yes, but maybe. it sees pause. But <laughs> see, <laughs> and then I was like, someone was like, that's just a synonym for perky. But I say I feel like perky is more of a blonde. like legally blonde. Yeah, like a characteristic. I feel like perky is more like it depends on that person's definition. Yeah. Because there's no way I would consider myself perky. I would But it was no way I would consider myself bougie either. And I've been called that plenty of times. So. I mean, I can see why they would call you that, though. How the hell <laughs> can you see how somebody will call me bougie, but not you? Because I feel like when this was said, it was back with the... I can't say that person's name because they watch my videos. But when that person liked to wear things that didn't belong to them, mm. that's when it was just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's money. So I guess when people feel like you spend money or spent money, because this was like back then, but for the watches, like, they were like, oh my. I mean, but first of all, and I feel like that's a problem in the black community when we buy ourselves nice things, a lot of people want to label us as bougie, um, living above our means. Uh, we want to be white, so we want to be like just we're not down to earth or we're trying to do too much like can we just normalize the fact that our ancestors were kings and queens and walked around in jewels all day and all the gold yeah. that has come across this world has come from the continent of africa where my people originated so let me tell you something i am royalty and i will shine and i wouldn't have everything hello <sighs> and I, that's like a big problem so maybe but i don't i don't well, yeah, because, like, I was told when I got my Apple Watch and my AirPods, oh, you just big balling. You just got money. Oh, give me money. And I'm just like, no, I just, I bought something I can finally afford. Like, I don't know. And then I feel like, honestly, um, the, that whole, oh, he got, you got money or deal for buying. And I'm not going to say that these things are simple because I just ain't no deep cost. But y'all tripping over a watch. Like, it's folks out here driving Ferraris 
on a Monday and Lambo's on a Tuesday and you think I got money because I can afford a watch. Thank you, a watch which <laughs> cost less than all these Jordans everybody be out here wearing. AirPods that are only like a hundred to my bucks. And I'm only saying only because the people who have said these statements to me work the same job as I and I know they bring home more than me. So, Benjamin. Claim that period and don't worry about mine. Period, because it took me up. And I'm not one of those type of, and that's another reason why I guess I didn't like the stigma of bougie because I don't spend money on myself. Like I will, I'm not gonna go buy everything off the clearance rack, but I'm definitely a sell shopper. Like if it's a promotion, I mean, I feel like, but, and that's so. Self care doesn't make me bougie. That just means that I value myself. And then I feel like that's another reason why so many people are attracted to or attract, for lack of a better word, fuck boys, fuck girls, because you don't. She's gonna pull my car. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is not everybody. This is not everybody. But I know plenty of people who don't do their self care, don't keep up on themselves. So you attract people who also don't keep up on themselves. Like, you attract people who are um, on your level, or on the level that you were presenting yourself to be on. I ain't saying it's not so It doesn't because you're speaking, the, and so that was my, my, my <laughs> now, I feel like I need to change how I present myself. So it's just like, I need to like, I feel like what you just said is how life has kind of been given. Like other people see you as that, you don't see you as that, so you kind of, lack the luster of putting yourself in that light right but now it is a realization you deserve yes it's okay to have things it's okay to look like you have things and you don't have to fake it till you make it just no. like be genuine in your 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 growth but yeah i'm definitely at a place where now since you want to call me bougie i need to up the ass yeah if i feel like honestly like you know but you ain't paid the, the problem <laughs> with lifestyle in general is that people want stuff that they don't commit to it and that's where that whole fake it till you make it stigma, yeah. stigma comes from. Like, I mean, you can fake it till you make it, or just try this. You can make it. Uh, <laughs> and you don't have to fake it. Uh, I'm okay with spending $45 on food, but then when it comes to spending $45 on clothes or something, well, not clothes, but like shoes or something, it's just like. Okay, well, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> So, you know I understand. <laughs> no one understands. But at the same time, I have gotten to the point where I want more for my life, mm -hmm. so I give myself more. And that's where I'm trying to get. It is very hard, especially for people who are come from the cheapest cloth of the cheap now. And it's just like, I will buy something, and I was like, dang, I realize you're not the struggle with these boxes. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't want to buy it. Like, <laughs> Are they like big expensive? No, it's like $47. I don't want to buy it. I don't blame you. I told you I knew about it. But that was like for all of them. You know? Oh. Like, it's not for person. Because okay, I was going to say, we're going to have to get some glue and some cutouts. But see, this is our problem. <laughs> And I have recently been trying to identify when it kicks into my life because it's quite often. And <laughs> during this season, the mm -hmm. it's really, I got to let that go. You do. You, it's a thing because I feel very guilty when I have to spend, like right now, Heart on Fashion Over, I'm not going to drop that name no more because I got my own thing. I contemplated over this car for four days now. Putting the code in, putting the discount, putting the off. <laughs> Maybe I can swing this, putting stuff in the car, taking it out. And yesterday I felt bad because someone asked me to buy them something. I was like, no, like I'm buying for me. And they were like, but I was gonna pay you back. And I'm like, I, it's, Ooh. it comes to a place where you have to, you gotta do for you and not keep doing for other people when you do for you. Yes. <laughs> and honestly, I only lend money for emergency situations. And I mean, you got it. You just like triple A on the side of the road. <laughs> not, not even my water got cut off because that don't happen overnight. Like you knew that was happening. Um, I'm not, I'm not reconnecting bills. I'm not doing nothing. I'm life emergency. It's the only way you're gonna get money out of me. One is because everything else comes happening over time, mm -hmm. which means you are managing your money right in the first place. So I know I'm not getting it back. Mm -hmm. That's dead. Um, and most importantly. I, I would, this is my selfish moment. I go to work. So mm. I can take care of myself. 
and it's hard for me to get in that mindset. I'm trying my hardest because I'm a I giver. Feel you. And I understand that. <laughs> but it took, for me personally, it took a change of environment. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. it, it took uh, me having to experience life on my own for real. For everything is on me. Like all my overhead is on me. That made me way more strict with my money. People often try to find employment that suits their soul, but at some point you have to understand that your soul is going to dwindle away if you can't eat. We really are looking for jobs to maintain us until we're able to pursue, or until we set ourselves up, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, getting a job is a first step. And I'm not saying your job has to be working for someone else. Like, you, you just need to make sure you have money in your pocket at all times, consistent money. Yeah. And then you grow from that aspect. Heck, you can start at a food chain. And from that food chain, you use that money and flip it and make money any way else. I don't, I don't care how you live it. So it's just like, you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get what you wanna get. Yes. If you're not willing to do what you gotta do, then you're never gonna get what you wanna get out of life. Like you're always gonna come second best for your dreams and for your goals and for whatever you want in life. Cause you're not willing to put in the work. And like this video, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna put our stuff down in the bottom description or on the screen somewhere and you can go follow her. And you can follow me. And bye.